I have here on the table are ten, our hundreds, our tens, and our units. So this is teaching large numbers, place values again. And I made here, this is just a little page. I made a little apartment building. We have here for the tens, we have a house. For the units, we have a little garage. So my little boy, again, anything to do with cars. <laughs> Uh, gives him loads of fun and enjoyment and it's play to him. So I ask him, can you give me 226? Give me the number 226. So this is good for him to really learn to listen and concentrate and focus because I'm not going to repeat it. Well, I will repeat it, but it's not that he actually sees it. 200 and 26. He has to listen and remember. So, as you can see, these are the hundreds, the tens, and the units. So, 200. So, he knows that he has to put two of these. So, this is 200 in our house, in our apartment building. The tens would be, he goes 10, 20. So, we have two tens there. 200, 20, Six. So he looks for the six. Here's the six. He puts it on the six. So I tell him, look, we have 226 people all together between the apartment, the house, and the garage. Of course, this is a little unrealistic, but this adds some fun, or you can say ants, or you can say little pets or anything that you think your child would enjoy. After he does this, I have here just some little number magnets and I ask him, okay, now can you write your number with these magnets? So he can see here that he has 200. So he looks for the 2, he looks at his 10s, he has 20. So that's another 2. 220, he looks at his garage and he has six units, 226. So this helps him to visualize the numbers like this as well as the amount of the numbers.